Greetings towards my century galaxy, it's Sanchman here, so this is my predictions for WWE SummerSlam 2021. SummerSlam this year is on a Saturday, not the traditional Sunday because NXT TakeOver 36 took that spot. SummerSlam this year is going to be in Las Vegas, Nevada, or basically it's outside of Las Vegas in a place called Paradise, Nevada. I'm going to butcher this stadium that's going to host some of of this year. It's at the Alley Giant Stadium in Paris, Nevada. So we got 10 matches on the show. I'm going to start predicting the non title matches first. Then moving on to the championship matches second. So the first non title match to predict. We've got Eva Marie with Dewdrop. Dewdrop is Piper Nevin versus Alexa Bliss. Try to keep it short and simple. Um, I have to go with Alexa Bliss getting the victory over Eva Marie. <laughs> I did a video on Eva Marie about months ago. I don't like when she's coming back. To be honest, I just don't like Eva Marie. You know, don't get me wrong, she's a beautiful woman, but she cannot wrestle in the ring. She cares about the fame and glory. You know, I just don't want to talk about Eva Marie even more. Um... Uh, Dewdrop, Piper, Nevin, they did justice on her, you know, why they called her Dewdrop, uh, I don't get it, I wish she'd be called uh, Piper Nevin, I, I kind of follow her because she wrestled in NXT UK, the UK version of NXT, and then by, by the time she got called up to the main roster, she's Dewdrop, don't get it, so moving on to the next match. The next match, uh, we got uh, Drew McIntyre versus Jinder Mahal, uh, two former members of Free and B. Uh, Jinder recently is forming this Indian faction with two guys called Via and Shanky. Um, it's a bit of a spin four years ago with Jinder Mahal teaming up with the Sim Brothers, you know, the Bollywood Boys, but unfortunately the Sim Brothers got released. Because Sim Brothers was part of Jim Hall's WWE title reign four years ago. Now times change. Uh, Jinder is forming this faction with two guys called Via and Shanky. I, I think they're now bound from ringside. So, I don't know. I think they're giving Jinder like this push. But it's unlikely. Jinder, don't get me wrong. You know, but yeah, he's terrible in the ring. But I'm going to go with... Drew McIntyre getting the victory. Um, I don't want to see Drew getting back in the WWE towel picture because his time is done. I, I don't know. I can see this rivalry going to drag out throughout the autumn of this year. So moving on to the next match. Um, basically we've got the third and final non towel match. Um, like I said, there's 10, not, yeah, 10 matches on the show. Three non towel match. And um, was it seven, seven championship matches, six championship matches? There's ten. Trust me. Um, believe me. Anyway, so the third, yeah, the third and final non-title match to predict uh, in this prediction video for SummerSlam 2021. We got Edge versus Seth Rollins. Um, this is Edge's first champion. Um, actually, his first SummerSlam match. For almost 11 years, he was part of the Team WWE versus Team Nexus match, you know, 11 years ago at SummerSlam 2010. And I think this was Edge's first single SummerSlam match for almost 13 years. The last one was facing The Undertaker inside Hell in a Cell at SummerSlam 2008. Um, have to go with Edge getting the victory over Seth Rollins. Um, I think Rollins cost Edge the match at Money in the Bank against Roman Reigns for the Universal title the previous month. I didn't really saw Money in the Bank 2020, 20, uh, sorry, butchered this, um, my line first. I didn't really see uh, Money in the Bank 2021, had no plans to predict and also review the show. Might do it in the future, sorry I kind of stumbled. Um, <laughs> bit of a tongue twisted moment. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go with Edge getting the victory over Seth Rollins. I can see this rivalry um, dragging out until probably in October. So, yeah, um, that's the non-title matches. So, moving on to 
the championship matches. So we got two world title matches, two mid card championships, two women's uh, matches. So that's um, that's six so far, and two yeah two world title matches, two tag team title matches, two mid card title matches. That's six. Yeah, eight matches. So basically, it's eleven matches. You know, I thought if I was, ten, I thought it was ten, but it's, you know, it's eleven. Jesus. Anyway, so the first championship match to predict. Um, I'm gonna start with the um the the, the tag team towel pictures. So the first tag team towel match to predict is on the Raw side. Uh, we got um AJ Styles and Omos defending the Raw tag team championships against. Randy Orton and Matt Riddle, RK bro, holy shit man, not a big fan of Matt Riddle, I think he's a good worker, but I don't like his gimmick, I think it's cheesy, if you like Matt Riddle, more power to you, you know, don't get me wrong, he's a good worker, but I just don't like gimmick, um, I think, so far, I think AJ Styles and Omos's Tantin Tower reign for the red brand, you know, the raw brand, it's a lackluster reign, so what's the point having them, um, won the titles at WrestleMania? Then I don't think they defend it after WrestleMania. Probably, probably defend it on a Raw, but not on a pay per view. You know, in my knowledge, you know, you know, AJ needs to get away from this tag team title picture. He needs to get back in the world title picture. You know, it's been it's been what three years since he hold the world title belt. The last two years, he's you know won the United States title. He's won the Intercontinental title, um, and now he's just won the Raw Tag Team titles with Omos. He did okay, but I think he needs to get get back to the World Title picture. Instead, you know he's got he's been relegated into the Tag Team title picture with Omos. You know, you know it's been a long time since AJ you know tasted Tag Team gold. I think the last one was. You know, with Kurt Angle winning the TNA Tag Team Towels, you know, like that was in uh, twenty twelve in TNA nine years ago. But um, you know, let's get back to the match. Um, I'm gonna go with probably I don't know. This is gonna be a random guess for me. I'm gonna go with RK Bro. You know, Orton and Riddle. You know, capture the gold on the show and then move on to the SmackDown Tag Team Towel match. We got the Usos versus the Mysterios. That is Ray and Dominic Mysterio. Random guess as well. Boy, boy, boy. I like I like, I like both the tag teams in this match. The Usos and the Mysterios. I'm gonna go with the Usos. You know, retain the SmackDown tag team titles. So moving on to the mid card um, belt. So we're gonna start with the the United States title match. We got Sheamus defending the, the US title against Damian Priest. I have to go with Damian Priest. Uh, take the they got to take the belt away from Sheamus. They booked Sheamus United States title reign like shit. Won the title from Matt Riddle at WrestleMania. I think he probably defended it on a Raw, but he barely defended it on a pay per view. He probably, he probably defended it on a pre show, but not on the main show. What the fuck? You know, I think that, you know, I like Sheamus. Don't get me wrong. I think Sheamus is as a heel right now. I think he's stale as a heel. He needs to go back as the babyface. You know, going back in his babyface run in 2011, 2012, 2013. You know, I think he's done as a heel. And he needs to go back as the babyface. But um, yeah, um, I have to go with Damian Priest um, beating Sheamus for the U.S. title. Before moving on to the next match to predict, um, by the way, I was right. There's 10 matches on the show, I thought it was 11 matches on the show, my bad, I was right, it was 10 matches, so anyway, so the next match to predict, this is for the Raw Women's Championship, this is a triple threat match, we got Nikki, A, S, H, basically it's Nikki Cross defending the Raw Women's title against Shark Flair and Rhea Ripley, um, I can't get behind this gimmick of Nikki Cross recently, because I did a video on Nikki Cross's latest gimmick. I was wrong. Someone commented. Um, I thought it was Vince who come up with this gimmick for Nikki. But it's actually Nikki come up with the, the gimmick by herself. But let's be honest. It's a bad gimmick. I heard like people like it. But 
for me, it's so cheesy and goofy. Some people compare it to, oh, it's just a rip-off of the Mighty Molly gimmick from the Attitude Era, I'm guessing. You know, Attitude Era, Rufus Aggression Era. You can't compare two wrestlers from two different eras, you know. Nikki Cross and Molly Holly are two different wrestlers from two different eras of WWE. Um, yeah, I just really don't really get behind the character Nikki 8SH. I'm going to call her Nikki Cross. Boy, um, I have to go with Rhea Ripley. This is a random guess, you know. Shark Flair winning the title again is so predictable because I understand they're trying to bri make her break her dad's record. Um, I understand. I understand why they book in Charlotte in recent years like her dad, like her dad, because it's typical WWE going back to the past. I don't want to get into it. Um, so yeah, uh, basically Rhea captured the Raw Women's title on the show, defeating both Nikki and Charlotte. So moving on to the Smackdown Women's Tile Match, uh, we got Bianca Blair versus Sasha Banks. This is a rematch from WrestleMania of this year. I think it was night one, uh, night, yeah, night one or night two. Um, this is a difficult one. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> because Sasha turned heel. I can see this rivalry dragging out until the autumn of tw of this year. Probably in, in October. Um, because I can see Bianca holding that belt for six months. I don't think Sasha's going to win this title on the show. If it, you know, I, if Sasha won, I'll be shocked. You know, but I think Bianca's reign so far, it's, it's, an, it's an okay reign. You know, she's put on good matches. You know, against, um, you know, she had a good match with Sasha Banks at WrestleMania. She had two good paper matches with Bayley. You know, at um, WrestleMania Backlash and the Hell in the Cell match. Um, I don't see this rivalry. I don't think she had a match at Money in the Bank. Like I said, I didn't really see the show. I don't know. But um, I don't see her reign is coming to an end. But yeah, I'm going to go with Bianca defeating Sasha. I can see this rivalry going to drag out throughout this the autumn. Probably September. October. I don't think it's that Survivor Series. Probably October time. So moving on to the World Tile matches. I don't want to shout because um, by the time this video is recorded, you know the predictions video, it's early out. Uh, really, it's very l late. I don't want to wake a lot of people up. I'm trying to keep the volume down. Um. So let's go to the yeah to predict, predict the WWE Championship match. We got Bobby Lashley, the Almighty Bobby Lashley, with MVP in his corner, first putting the belt on the line against Goldberg. I was pissed off. A lot of fans were pissed off. You know, announced that less up, uh, not less now. Lashley is going to face Goldberg for the title. I did a video on it. You know, because uh, people want to see, you know, Bobby Lashley versus Brock Lesnar. That's the reason why Lashley came back to the company. He wants the match with Brock Lesnar. And we have to. He's facing a guy who's ten years older than Lashley, almost ten years, because Bobby Lashley's not forty-five. Goldberg is about um, fifty-four, pushing fifty-five. Because the reason why Brock and Lesnar, uh, Bro Brock and Lashley, sorry, because Brock and, and Lashley are close of age. I think. Uh, I think Brock. Is, I think Lashley's older than Brock. Brock is. 44, uh, Lashley's 45, on paper could be a good match because they both, you know, got MMA background, Goldberg, sorry, doesn't have any MMA background, yeah, he commented some MMA fights, you know, not in UFC, but in small promotions, you know, he was like an interviewer, but, um, I don't get me wrong about Goldberg, you know, he was good back in the day, but this is not like 1998, not 97, 98, or even 2003. It's 2021. I'm gonna go with Lashley defeating um, Goldberg. I almost say Lesnar, but I wish they did this match. You know, second time before we're gonna get it in 2018. Unfortunately, they're they're doing the Brock versus Roman match, and now in 2021, I thought they're gonna do the Lashley versus Brock match. Unfortunately, that's not the case. It's 
Lashley versus Goldberg. Jesus Christ, man. So moving on to basically it's gonna be the main event. Um we got um Roman Reigns, the tribal chief, defending the universal title against John Cena. Jesus Christ, I think this is Cena's first championship match at SummerSlam for almost six years. The last one was against Seth Rollins for the WWE title and the unit not Universal, the United States title. It's very funny that this year marks the five-year anniversary. This show marks the five-year anniversary of the uni Universal title. When, you know, when they announced they're doing the Universal title, you know, that was like, it was like poorly received by fans, you know, with the, the title design. I, want to get, I don't want to get into it. Might review Summer on 2016 in the future, but um, I think so far, I think Reigns, he's got to be the best. Universal Champion that we, ne we ne really never had because the history of the uni Universal title, the five year reign, the five year history of the Universal Championship, it's been bad. It's, it's been a shit championship. You know, like people compare about all oh, Brock's reign was good. No, and no, it's been shit. Uh, Brock's reign was shit. Um, Rollins' reign was shit. Um, Reigns' first reign was crap. Um, I think the three good champions so far has to be Roman Reigns, The Fiend, and Kevin Owens. Balor was the first champion. Unfortunately, he never got that reign. He never got that chance to have a, a good run as the Universal Champion because he, he vacated it due to injury. So, uh, Goldberg, another one in this added to the list. Another bad champion, so... I think Roman has been the best champion so far. Um, I said in my rant on John Cena video about weeks ago, if Cena wins, I might do a live stream on it. You know, talking about it. Because I don't want to see this man winning it. Because it's basically he's going to be another guy. He'll be, once again, bearing the talent. As usual. You know, let Roman, you know, have a run. You know, he's... Hold that belt for one year. I wish they did the Edge... Yeah, you know, Roman Edge match... On the show instead of put bunked it down to Money in the Bank the previous month. I don't get, I don't know why. It's completely stupid. So I'm trying to keep it short, and simple. Roman, but I can see this rivalry dragging out probably until October, and Cena might win the title after you know Reigns' reign is broken. I think that one. I think Reigns won't have to break the Brock reign. But I, I think it's unlikely. I don't know who's going to be the one who breaks. Um, beat the guy who defeat Roman for the championship. You know. There's barely any baby faces so far. Turning Roman baby face at this moment in time would be stupid. But um, yeah. I don't want to see Cena winning the title. What's it going to prove? Nothing. It's basically it's going to be like like I said. A shark flag trying to break Rick Flair's record. Of the most... most the first guy to hold them up. Basically, he's going to break Ric Flair's 17-time world, 16-time world championship reign because Ric Flair hold, won the world title 16 times. Cena you know, is tied in that record. He wins it. He broke his record. People don't want to see that. Reigns is a, this is Reigns' best run so far in his career. You know, the last four years of his career, you know, people, you know, because Finch, Shove the you know shove Roman Reigns down our throats, you know people we many fans wants this dude turn heel what the Vince did turn him heel he's doing fucking well, good in, his matches are starting to improve I really like Roman Reigns his matches he's good on the mic he's improving. I don't see John Cena you know winning it, winning the title it's basically going back to the same old shit, nothing it's nothing new it's just basically Cena John Cena is gonna be the politician man. Winning the title and holding back new, holding back talent. You know, it's the same old shit. I don't want to get into it. I don't want to, you know, I'm getting angry right now. But, you know, if Cena wins, I might do, save my ranting energy for that stream. You know, if, if Cena wins. If not, I'll be fine. I'll be happy. So, anyway, so hope you enjoy my prediction video of SummerSlam 2021. The video... Uh, the, yeah, the review of SummerSlam 2021, it'll be likely on Sunday or Monday. Probably likely be on a Monday. 
stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, leave your thoughts in the comments below. Smash the like button or dislike. You choose or click the um the bell and subscribe to the Central Man Network on YouTube. Be part of the Central Unit today for more wrestling videos and more. And this is the Central Man officially signing out. Check you later.